faulty, Makila battery. No lights, no power, and won't charge. 15.17 volts. Too low to take a charge. This is how you spike it. Now this only works if the cells inside are still good, so you want to check them first to make sure there's none dead. If they're all good and it's just undercharged, you can just spike it to repair it. First thing to get into it is remove the screws. Before you do that, you have to remove this little plug. Just a little drill bit will get this out. Pop that out. And then it's a T10 security torx to remove the screws. Board inside looks good. Now to check the cells. One thing to check for is corrosion. Make sure it's not rusted. Well, not looking good for a start. A little bit of corrosion. Water has been on it. It has gotten wet in the past. But it's not rusted up. So we might still get away with it. Multimeter again, check your cells. Total voltage is 15. Now you want to check the voltage in all these here cells. If they're low, that's okay as long as they're all low. So 3 volts is too low to take a charge. 3, 3, 3, and 3. So these are connected up in series. So that's 5 cells in series at 3 volts gives you 15 volts so that's actually good she's under charge but that means spiking it will actually recover this here battery if there was a dead cell here or if there were different voltages it wouldn't be worth fixing if there's a dead cell and you're spiking it all it's going to do is the dead cells are going to drain the battery again very quick so we, this only works if all the cells are good these should be sitting at three and a half volts three and a half volts by five is giving you 17.5 volts which is what the battery should be at when it's flat when they're fully charged, they're sitting at 4.2 volts, which is 21 volts when they're fully charged. So this one's only 15. But with all the cells still good, we can spike it. So get yourself a good battery, fully charged, 18 volts as well. Don't use a bigger or a smaller one. 18 volt battery for an 18 volt dead battery. Then you're going to connect up, you connect up your negatives, and then you're going to just touch the lives a few times to bring up the voltage. But just be careful of polarity test to make sure so whenever you put it on correctly the black and red you should get 18 volts and there should be no minus sign if you do it here you're getting 15 volts and a little minus that means the leads are reversed so that means the live is actually this side so make sure you're going the right way around if you connect the live and your neutral you're going to destroy your good battery and brick your old one as well so that one should be sitting like this and get yourself something to connect them up with so connect the live and the live neutral to neutral positive to positive negative to negative do not short the ends or you will be in all sorts of bother and touch your negative and then just gently touch your light your positive you get a few e sparks don't just hold it on just lightly touch it for a second or so just to bring the charge up and when you want to test it then disconnect one of these leads so we want to get this up past 16 volts so now they're at 15.4 so keep going yet do it slowly bit by bit so you don't cause any damage or overheat the cells.
Keep going. Now you can also use something like an RC charger, which is a balance charger, which you can actually charge any type of battery with. You can program it yourself, charge whatever you like. That is the best and safest way to do this. But spiking or jumping with another battery also works in a pinch. It should be up past 16. So 16.3 is high enough for this to do a charge. We can rebuild it and test it out. Look at that. One Makita battery. Saved from the dump. Just spike it of another 18 volt battery to bring the charge back up to above 16 volts. But just make sure all the cells are good inside and you're not just overcharging bad cells. Otherwise you could be just ending up starting a fire. Check the cells if they're all the same voltage and with unreason between 13 and 15 volts spike it or jump start it and that'll actually get it charge it again. Leave this here now, take like a full charge. Thirty six minutes of charging, she's nearly finished. So it's six o'clock and I'm going home. The lights don't work actually. But she is charged. Twenty point two five volts. Just about fully charged. That's her folks, that's how you recover a Makita eighteen volt battery if it goes below charge. Now if you're using it on a heavy draw tool like a cordless saw or a grinder and you're pushing it very hard when it's nearly empty it can actually put it over the tipping point and drain it too quick that it can't recover so be careful don't use them on high draw tools when they're nearly flat keep them fully charged and that'll keep your batteries good